welcome to the vlog. Today, there's a couple of things happening in this vlog. I am going to be showing you guys our new car and also I did a vision board. So I thought I would share that too. <laughs> but before I show you guys the car and everything, I did want to explain a little bit um, how exciting this actually is. So I've had the same car for around 10 years and before then I had an even older car. I've never had a brand new car. I've never really spent a lot on a car or anything. Not to say that we spent like, you know, fortune on a car, but we really wanted a nice car. We've also been sharing a car for 10 years. So we wanted to have two cars so that, you know, it makes it easier to get around and we don't always have to share and everything. And because we're thinking about kids so much and going through treatments and stuff to have babies, we really wanted to have an SUV. We've been looking at Volvos for two years and we finally pulled the trigger. We drove a little bit away, we went on a little trip. While we were on our trip, we ended up going to a Volvo dealership that we've been at before. We test drove one just for fun and we ended up making the decision to get the car right then and there. So we went through all the steps and everything, signed the papers, and then we picked up our car just a couple of days ago and we freaking love it. Actually, it's been more than a couple of days, but we love the car. We love the Volvo and I'm excited to show you guys. I'm so excited about it. There are so many features to this car, but it's not hard to impress me because I had a 2012 Toyota Corolla and the windows were still like roll down windows. Like they weren't even automatic windows. So it really doesn't take a lot to make me happy, but we are so happy. And yeah, I just wanted to share that because it's such like excitement in my life right now. And it's been a hard couple of years and we just really wanted to get something that would help us out and make us happy. So that's why I thought I would share. And uh, yeah. Welcome to our new car. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. Okay, so this is the inside of the car. We freaking love it so, so much. The seats are honestly like couches. Like they feel like a nice seat to sit in and everything. And then the back seat is very nice as well. Super comfortable. Like we wouldn't hesitate at all to have like people um be in the back seat for like a road trip or something they have like the little things for um car seats so that's great and then uh this comes down and it's like a little armrest and there's also a place where you can like open up this like little door and it's like a little door that goes through so if you have like skis or hockey sticks then it can just like go through instead of going like above the seats and the trunk is also really big. So this is the interior. We absolutely freaking love it. Like I cannot explain how much we love this car. Like we just freaking love it. I would recommend Volvos to like anybody. And I've only been driving it for a week. So yeah, we freaking love this car. So this is the trunk. It is absolutely humongous. Like we could fit suitcases, car seats, not car seats, but like strollers. It's amazing, and this, this was a little door that I was talking about that you can open, and then you can put, like, whatever you want um, through it, like skis or, or whatever, hockey stick, so, yay. Also, in case you were wondering, this is me in the car. <laughs> this is what I look like in the car. No, we freaking love this car. Like, oh my gosh. I also, like, I genuinely feel like I'm sitting on like an actual sofa like indoors like in a house it's freaking amazing we love it so so much Alright, 
So as you saw in the last couple of clips, uh, I did a vision board this morning or this afternoon actually. And um, my mom just randomly was like, we have to do vision boards. We need to manifest all these things in our lives. I didn't do one when the new year started and neither had my aunts and my sister. So we all got together and did this vision board. Who knew that it would take us six hours to do a vision board? <laughs> and it's not even full. Like, I just don't understand how people do these every year. Like, I know that they're worth it and it was nice to really reflect and like, I don't know, manifest like what we want in our lives, but holy mac, it is no joke. Um, I think we spent too much time looking and cutting into magazines. I think that was probably like mistake number one, but I thought I would share with you guys what I have on my vision board. I thought that would be just like fun because I like seeing what other people have on their vision boards. So there's a few things. It's kind of like a mixture of things, but here it says uh, four babies. So I've always wanted four kids. And because we're going through infertility right now, it's really something that I wanted to put on my vision board. So I have like a little mom holding her baby here and then me being a soccer mom because I'm definitely gonna be a soccer mom. I have the new car. Uh, to go with that and also my husband still plays soccer to this day so I know I'm gonna be a soccer mom for sure and then I just put next to it I just kind of put uh, me and my husband's relationship we're coming on almost 12 years of being together and I want to manifest like a bunch more years together and building our lives together so there's some picture of my husband it says we're better together and I just put it says heart here and then right here is um, money <laughs> uh, symbols for money whether that be through YouTube obviously I would love to do this full-time or through the career that I have right now that would be fine as well and I'm manifesting for my husband too he has a job where he can definitely move up in the company and I'm really hoping for that for him and then it says a family home. Uh, we'd love, love, love to build. So this is just like land with a house being built on it. And then I put, oh, <laughs> and then I put a Mercedes SUV. We just bought an SUV. This is like the whole point of this vlog, but I really would love a Mercedes SUV one day. Maybe it'll be like the pair with our other SUV. And then it says start up your dream, like start up the car, but like your dream if you get it. <laughs> and then this part here is mostly about like mental health, but also giving back. So it's a quote that says to be able to have it all, you have to be able to give back. So I, we would love to start uh, really donating purposefully to charities. We donate here and there, just like if the opportunity arises, but I think this year we should really set aside some money to donate. I think we're in that place in life where we can do that. I would love to do that. And then I have smile file, so I wanna make sure that I'm always smiling. I wanna have the half full approach. Um, I have a half full cup here. I wanna be more spontaneous. I wanna love my heart. I wanna uh, really manifest healthy eating and also meditation. And uh, here it says mind over matter. So then there's like food on this side. I did end up putting like donuts and bagels over here. Even though I put healthy eating here, I really wanna work on balance. So the fact that I have healthy eating, but then also like the donuts on my board is just to represent the balance that I wanna have um, going forward. And donuts and a bagels are heckin' good. With which is what it says right here. And then I put a girl doing yoga, which represents like exercise and meditation and yoga that I wanna do, but also the balance between everything. So that's why I put her doing yoga. I also put a little section with Archie, our dog that we currently have, and I, it says puppy love, because we do plan on getting a second dog eventually. So I put that on there as well. And then this is my section for travel. So this picture here is Spain. Um, and this is also Spain. We'd love to go to Spain. We've never been to Spain. We'd love to go to San Francisco. We really want to go to San Francisco. 
And then this is Ireland and Greece. We've been to both of those places, but we would love to go again. And I also wanted to put Hawaii, but then I couldn't find a picture and I forgot to print one. So Hawaii's not there, but Hawaii is probably like our number one place. So it should probably be on the board. I do have space if I want to add it. So I might do that, but that is the board. It's so weird to me, a vision board. I've never done one before. I think it's really difficult because we all presented, we're really those type of people. Um, <laughs> everyone like presented their board to the rest after we were all done like my aunt presented her board and my sister and whatever and as they were presenting their board i was like you know am i missing something am i too materialistic did i put enough for like mental health did i put enough for like you know charity is my life like all about my babies that i eventually want to have or is it all about you know building a house or i don't know i just felt I started like second guessing myself a little bit, but I think that there are good things on this board and truly like that's what came to mind. So obviously that is what is important to me. And I don't know, I think it's a cute board. I don't know if I'll do it again because it was like so much work. I don't know, maybe I would, but I would like divide it into two. But yeah, that's my board. I, I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm also wondering if you guys have vision boards. If you do, what's your favorite thing on your vision board? Let me know what you manifested for the next year or a couple of years. I would love, love, love to hear what is important to you guys. So yeah, I thought I would share that.